Hi guys, it's the Programming TV, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a really simple quiz on Xcode. This app is going to ask you for a question, and you're going to answer it, um, and you have like, you can have different options, and it's going to tell you whether it's right or not. So, to do that, open Xcode, start a new project, and use an Xcode 4.5, um, single B application, and then give it a name, we'll call it... I don't know, um, with app next, uh, create, and that's it. So now you want to just live uh, like this, just portrait. I'm just going to do portrait for now. And you want to go to the .h file, and we're going to have to write some code in here. So create some bridges right there. We gotta create an IB action. I mean, IB outlet right here. IB outlet UI label, and then look for label. Now, outside the braces, you you wanna write IB action because we're, we're this is gonna be for the buttons for um, the answers. Each answer is gonna have a button. So here we have to make that. Oops, and that's not how you do an IV action. IV action, and then I'm just gonna call it answer one. Take that parentheses at the end. I don't know, that's retarded to give you parentheses at the end. Anyways, just do that different times. Oops, just copy and paste. Um, just for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do three three answers okay uh, each one remember you gotta change the name each one has to have a different name there you go answer one two three I agree that's right for some reason um, let's do some space here so we can look at it better okay once we have that save control s and now go to view controller.m Actually no, I actually go to viewcontroller.xib so we can start adding some stuff on the on the app. So label is just drag a label for a question. Actually two labels. Uh, one of one of them is gonna be for the question, which is gonna be displayed at the top. I'm just gonna write um, um what I don't know, random question, like, I don't have a question now, <laughs> oh my god, I'm just gonna write like, random question here, this is just for demonstration purpose, it's just for like showing you guys, okay, you guys are probably gonna put a real question there, okay, I'm just gonna do a random question here, just representing it like if that was a question, okay, and then, um, I don't know, whatever you wanna put the second label, which this label is the one that's gonna change, it's gonna tell you whether the answer is right or not. Okay, um, down right here, resize it, put it in the middle. If you want to change font and all that stuff, I don't want to do that. Okay, and now we need three buttons. Just copy and paste. There you go. Put them on position. And um, A, then here, B, and then C. Um, you guys are probably going to do it better than me. I'm just like showing you guys the basics. You guys make it the other stuff, you know. It might not look pretty, but you guys can make it look pretty, okay? Um, put some labels right next to it. And let's call this like, this answer is wrong. They just... That's gonna be representing the wrong, the wrong answers, the wrong answers, right? And then let's make one that's right. So let's make B right, okay? This answer is right. Obviously, you guys are not really gonna write this. You guys are actually gonna write real, real answers and real in a real question, okay? I'm just doing that just because I'm lazy, okay? Um, here on this label right here, just. Take the letters out, delete it. Now you have that. And here on this arrow, 
click on that and uh, oh yeah you gotta click on file owner and then you will see that all the stuff so in answer one just go and connect it with A answer B oops I forgot something so answer one connect it with A and um, touch down we actually touch touch up inside that's a good one okay let's do it the same thing with answer two touch up inside and and C touch up inside so let's see A B C we got everything right there and now here on label you wanna put it to the label you wanna drag it into the label that's it so control S to save that now let's go to view controller that M and here do some space we need some space for our code and what we're gonna be writing here is um, we're gonna first actually go to the view controller that H and copy copy all of this copy all the IB actions and paste them on view controller that M and take out the semicolons at the end and do parent do um, braces curly braces just like how I'm doing right now do that for each one and technically for the first one for the answer A I'm just gonna be writing label yeah text equals no because that's the wrong answer and let me just copy that because I'm lazy copy and then paste it inside and then write the second one it's the second answer is right so let's write yes and then let's copy for the third one and let's write let's keep it as no so actually that's how it goes you know obviously you can do more stuff to it like change the color uh, do a scoring system for now I'm just gonna keep it simple for this tutorial okay and so control s because that's pretty much it and then run and yes this is a big moment once you click right it says build succeeded that's good and just wait for the iOS simulator to open it's probably gonna take a while it would take some time and there it is it's now opening And uh, there it is, I believe. Come on, open. Okay, there it is. Finally, it took, took like a whole day. Anyways, it says random question here. Okay, that's where your question is going to be, right? Real question, not this, okay? And then here we got the three buttons. So this, this answer is wrong. So if I clicked it, it should be like no right here. No, there you go. If I click B, it's going to say, uh, this answer is right, so it's probably going to say yes. And there you go, yes. This answer is wrong, so it's probably going to say C. I mean, it's probably going to say no. Yep, that's how it works. So technically, if you go more advanced, you can add like a scoring, a scoring system and things like that. But just for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it like this simple. I'll probably make another video, show you guys how to do all, all the other stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next video.